Hello everybody and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War the Russian Campaign. Now, uh, obviously I think in the last episode we took this castle, or fortress, uh, currently retraining the army and then at some point I guess either go to their capital or it looks like there's some settlements over here. I'm gonna Moving send this, okay I've got another settlement set in and it looks like they have this one as well, uh, Magdeburg. <laughs> And one down here, whichever that one is. Prague. <sighs> and this one as well, do they? I don't think they have Vienna as well. I'm not sure. Well, we'll probably find out. But that's that on the western front. On the eastern front, well, middle front I guess, trying to take Kaffa as, as quickly as possible. And then on the eastern front, the proper eastern front, forming an army to take Bulga. And of course, keeping an eye on those Mongols to see how well they do with their um, conquests. Right, so I think the best thing we can do now is in the turn, unless... Who is my target? Right, you can have a go at killing an, uh, another captain. Right, so let's end the turn and we'll see what happens. Right, that princess, I'm not sure what she was doing. No, I can't remember. I actually think I'm going to move whoever is near that, that spy near Byzantium because nothing much is happening there anymore so I might uh, leave that area. Okay, blockade the port of Setin. I'm not sure I want to really want to do that. don't really have much of a navy at the moment. But we've got a bit of money to spend for once, that's good. Right, and I think so our army is... oh no, we are retraining them. Oh, look at them. They look pretty good. Don't really want to spend a lot of money yet. Right, let's firstly... It looks like Egypt's going to hold on to that city for a long time, unless... There's a Hungarian army there. But it doesn't really matter to us, so I'm going to move my spy away from there. Have a look around here to see what's happening. Right, it looks like Mongols have also captured Damascus now. Yes, they have. That's an Egyptian army. So it looks like yeah, the Mongols are slowly capturing Egyptian cities. Right now, this general guy here, he can finally join up with these men. That's seven units against three. We should be able to do it, but just in case, I'm going to give them one more unit here and go after Kaffa. Just give this guy another unit. Now back here in Moscow, we are forming up some infantry. I'm going to take three units from here. Go down to Ryzen. Probably use that general, I think. Unless we use this other general. I'm going to use him actually as the one to attack. I'm going to get some communal farming going here. We should increase um, income from that. Right, what are they doing? Okay, he's recruiting one of them. We'll wait one more turn, then we'll f send out some units from here to join up with the units from Ryzen. Get another archer militia to join the army, and that should be fine. And we still can't do much here on the Western Front. Still don't really want to try and do that. Oh, it looks like this army is going to try and take back form. They've got a lot of cavalry. Ah, they've got trebuchets there. Yeah, that could be deadly, actually. Tre trebuchets are pretty good at destroying walls, so they could probably break down the walls of that city and charge in. But we've got some infantry, I guess, to defend if needs be. Right, uh, we've got a lot of trade going to that city. Let's look at Kiev's stats for trade. I think it's quite a lot, actually, yeah. Anyway, I'll end the turn again. Oh, unless I can build something here. Build some farming there, I guess. Take off auto manage. Right, 
Now I'll end the turn, I think, yeah, because we haven't got much money left anyway. Okay, they are going to try and take back the city. Okay. Fair enough. If they want to do that, they can try. They lay siege. If they close, finish them. I think I'll let them besiege and hopefully they'll assault rather than trying to wait us out. But if it does get to that point, I'll have to obviously attack them. But let's have a look. How have they already built all those units? I don't know, they've only just besieged and they've got all those siege equipment. Anyway, so what we can see, they've got a lot of cavalry and some missile units. So what they need is infantry, really, for a siege battle. But we'll see. Oh, we're Helsinki's got a port now, which is excellent. That should definitely help with, um, what's the word, monies. And I'll build an orthodox church there as well. Novgorod. Again, we've used up all our money. Right, that Russian diplomat needs to get back home after all these years. Your Majesty. Why have you all these Russian princes I'm dotted about? Do I really have... I'm not sure whether I was using them for anything. What do you require of me? But we'll go on some sort of diplomatic yes. mission, I guess. And honor, my lord. That one can head back what to Novgorod. Go back I'm in the city. I oh, can't move, okay. Right, this guy, Who is my a Russian assassin. The target, yeah, just keep killing those guys. Okay, now we can yes. head out. So, so, how many units have they got in Bulga? Five, okay. Well, we'll see what we can do. Yes, we'll take our general. Ah, actually, I don't want to waste money on mercenaries at the moment. I'm going to take these three units. I need something to... Yeah, I need that, to be honest. But we'll form up a new army there. And here. Going towards Kaffa. And our money hasn't been too damaged by those building uh, recruiting of new units. Oh yeah, we're going to check down here, weren't we? To see what the Hungarians are doing. So let's have a look, let's go this way. Okay, so no different round here. That's alright. So let's see if uh, the Polish assault. Oh, are they going to assault? I don't know. Come on. No. No, oh, I thought they would have saw that turn. Maybe they're trying to get more siege equipment. Let's have a look. If yeah, they got loads more. They should probably siege next turn, I think. Well, I hope they do, because we'll be able to have a lot of towers to defend us, I guess. Right, let's go around here. Okay, they do have Magdeburg as well. Yeah, Prague as well. God, they have a lot of cities. They've done pretty well, actually. Right down here. Yeah, the Mongols are trying to take Acre, I think, next, with their two massive armies. Fine for us, really. Okay, they're getting closer. Alright, what are we doing here? That's the one problem, really, or main problem, when playing as Russia. you got, because of the territories you own, they're so far away, it takes takes ages to get anywhere but that's sort of a positive and a negative a positive if you get an attack and you're on the back foot you can just fall back and it'll take them a while to reach you and you can form up some armies but then if you want to attack them for instance you've got to travel the long distance as well so I guess it's yeah positive and negative alright let's see if we can build something in Novgorod let's get everyone in no, I can get her to actually marry Your one of my generals. Let's have a look at my family tree. He's 18. How old are you? 18 as well, okay. 
Yeah, go after this guy. There you go, my celebrations. Okay, we can build a shipwright or a tavern. Uh, I'm gonna build a tavern actually. Hopefully that'll increase the public order somewhat. It's not great at the moment. Right there, you've all moved. Right, so what's this guy doing? Still building the communal farming, okay. Okay, right, now I should f I think the Polish will assault this turn. So I'm gonna, we're going to end the turn and see if they do that. Pretty sure they will now. I forgot about that guy. Oh well. Yes, right. It looks like they have the advantage apparently, but we're on the defensive so we, they should lose more men. Although, whoa! They've only got one unit, two units of infantry. The rest are cavalry, archers and a hell of a lot of trebuchet, stuff like that. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, we'll fight this battle on the map and we'll see if we beat them. So, I'll see so here we are on the battle map and luckily for us we have sort of two layers of walls until you get to sort of the town square. So I've sort of, um, God, can't get my words out, split the troops up, the sort of some archers on this wall and then some archers on the main first wall. And we've got some archer cavalry in the middle. And there's their massive army in the distance there. So we're going to start the battle and we'll see what they do. I think what they're going to do is try and fire their trebuchets and catapults. And let's see what they do, let's fast forward a bit. Um, okay, they are, that's what they're doing. Bringing them forward. I think once they get inside the city, their trebuchets will not be as effective, so I'm not too worried. Oh, they started firing. Okay, they've fired on this bit, so I'm going to get these troops around here. Come on, Ruth, double speed. You need to go at double speed or you will die. I'm not sure if they can attack this corner wall. We'll soon find out. It looks like they're trying to make a hole in the wall and then maybe their troops are going to try and run through, I don't know. Hopefully they won't attack my towers. If they do then those and those towers like get completely destroyed then they won't obviously be able to fire at them. So I'm hoping they'll ignore the towers. Okay, these guys need to form a line, really, not just stand there. Okay, they're not going to be fine. 78% damage. Me too. Right, it should be destroyed in a moment. Okay, I've destroyed that fallen. bit of wall. Alright, hopefully us, their troops will come flooding through now. By oh, wrong button. But I'm not sure if they will do that. I think they'll have another go at trying to break down some of this wall. We'll soon find out. Okay, they're going to try and break down some more wall. It seems. Come on. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to try and break down that bit more. Double speed, guys. Come on, double speed. Oh, I just lost some men because they're not moving. Oh well. I guess they're wasting their, well, not wasting, but they're using up all their artillery. Because um, they don't have infinite fallen. missiles. Must be our walls now. Well, I hope they don't have inf infinite missiles. What are they doing now? I have no idea what they're doing. Oh, 
they're hitting the towers, okay. That's annoying. Hmm. Maybe if I get my general out. Try and kill some of these catapult guys. Maybe encourage some of these Polish nobles to come near my walls, I don't know. This may be a bad idea, but... I guess we can't just stand here for ages until they destroy everything in the city. Destroyed that tower. Where's my general? Oh, he is coming. <coughs> I'm going to try and get out of the city without getting hit by a massive cannonball, whatever you call it. Projectile. That's what I should say. They've got a hell of a lot of trebuchets. But they are using up their amount they have. Okay, they're getting hit, apparently. Really? They're getting hit from that far away? Whew, that's a long way away to get hit. Oh, where's my general now? Polish nobles chasing me. I think these chariots are going to come near me in a minute. What are they doing? I can't really see what these guys are doing. Oh no, I'm not moving at the moment. If we can kill these guys now, that'd be excellent. That's one try a catapult unit already dead, so that's excellent. And I think they are bringing the infantry forward now this time, so which is excellent. It looks like they're not bringing any troops to try and support them, although it looks like they are firing stuff at us, I guess, so that is something. I think that unit's gone. Go after this unit now. Oh yeah, they got crossbows, haven't they? Um, but they're routing now. Let's go after this trebuchet unit. Get rid of these trebuchets, that's their main weapon, it seems. So, it's sort of be good to get rid of some of them. And it looks like they're actually bringing some of their units forward. And so, in that case, I'm actually going to fall back with my general. So, don't really want him to die. Well, come on, General. Get a move on. And we still got these towers firing on them, so that's excellent. And we got our archers firing as well, excellent. But we killed a lot of their catapult units, which is excellent. And the trebuchets are all in a mess. So, excellent. Oh god, we're going to run into their guys though. Just get through them. Oh, there's the general. Come on, general. You can survive. That's it. Well done. There's only five left in his unit. Damn. 
I'll, I'll, he'll be out now. I'll get him to the town square. The wolves are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Damn it! They've captured the gateway, but they haven't won yet. We've got all our archer chariot, archer chariots, archer cavalry to fight. Which is good. I'm sorry it's a bit juddery, I don't know why it is the video. But should be fine now. Oh, they're fi fighting. Okay, we'll fight ourselves. Right, charge forward, guys. It's really jolly, I don't know why. It's annoying. I'm only getting seven frames per second. So let's look at the percentages. Yeah, we're winning at the moment. But they are bringing their troops in. I think I'll just pause the video to see if I can sort out this frame issue. Just one minute. Right, I don't really know what the problem is, but if I want to edit anything, I'd need to end the battle, which I don't really want to at the moment. So we're just going to have to cope with the uh, drop in frame rate for the time being. Hopefully, it will improve once we get to the campaign map. Shouldn't really be because of the hard drive, because I've got. I send all my videos to an external hard drive which has got plenty of space on, so don't know what the problem is. But we'll soldier on. So I think we are slowly killing the units. And we've got our towers are firing, so excellent. Oh god, don't go zoom into that thing. I'll just fast forward. Just can't really do much now except for just let our archers fire. General yeah. Like I asked that general actually. Strike hard and break the spirit of his army. Okay, now four frames per second. Now that's really bad. Right, it looks like the rest of our army is sort of stuck at the moment. over here. Let's uh, send forth our Kazakhs. Our men are under attack. We need to act. Right, what are they doing? I'm not sure if they're actually stuck or they're trying to kill all my archers first, I don't know. But I think they're losing a lot of men because of it, which is fine for me. What's this? Right, this one, another unit from militia, militia, mercenary crossbowmen. Really can't say my words today. Don't know why they're charging into those crossbow. But they're broken now, so that's fine. Just keep doing that. Let's try and finish them off. Yeah, what are they doing? They've got arch. They've got arrows left. I don't know what they are doing. Centuries. We've killed over half the army. So actually, just to save you the 
pain of watching all this frame rate drop. I'll just get to the end of battle and show you the results screen unless something interesting okay, happens. And I'll uh, get to you when it gets to that point. So I'll see you in a minute at the results screen. And here is the results of the battle and it was a victory for us. Although we did lose quite a few men more than we should really but they did have a lot of uh, trebuchets but towards the end all their trebuchets were sort of stuck together so they didn't really move so I could kill them pretty easily. But it's a victory for us so I'll see you back on the campaign. And we have a choice once again what to do with the troops that we captured and again I'm actually going to execute this time. So I'd rather not have any of the troops to be honest at the moment rather than the money because we're making a bit more money than we did before. But the frame rate is better on the campaign map, luckily. We're in the sort of 20s now. <laughs> Still not great, but better than whatever it was, like 4 at some point. But that's that army destroyed, and they don't have much left. So I think what I want to do is plan to take their capital next, because that would be a great place to have. Great money maker. So let's just retrain these guys. Oh, I can get some of these. I'm going to get some of these good infantry as well. So I'll plan that. Let's move our troops and then I guess we'll end the part there. Right, you're going to move forward. Right, the army to Kaffa. Oh, I guess next episode we'll have a fighting for Kaffa. And as I thought. They are now besieging, or well, the Mongols are now besieging Acre, so I should probably take that unless. Now it's quite a large Egyptian force. So they may be able to win. Right, money, we should have more next turn. Let's see if we can do anything. We've got Princess here. What do you require of me? Let's move that way. Yes. Uh, you can, I don't know, go down there. Lord. With pleasure. So. Well, I guess we could use this guy. Let's kill another captain. Oh, trait increase, excellent. Oh, we were going to keep going with our spy, weren't we, down here? Yes. Now, there's really no cities around here to see. Okay, Venice controls this anyway. I think that's this city here who controls that. So, um end the part there so in the next part we'll plan the invasion of their capital city so thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time